हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हरप्रीत सिंह टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन अ इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्चुअल टॉपिक व्हिच इज आई थिंक इम्पॉर्टेंट बोथ फॉर ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन्स एंड फॉर फिजियोथेरापिस्ट सो शोल्डर प्लेन इज अ शोल्डर पेन इज अ कॉमन ओ पी वी सी एंड श्रगिंग इज अ कॉमन एक्सरसाइज वी टीच दी पेशेंट्स सो आई वो जस्ट वॉन्ट टू क्वेश्चन is it that by shrugging can we remove our shoulder pain or can you really just shrug off your shoulder pain so as we talked about shoulder pain is one of the most common opd complaints after low back ache this is the most common opd complaint in patients in orthopedic clinic shoulder pain can affect up to about 20% of population at one time or the other incidence of shoulder pain increases with age and the most important cause of shoulder pain is impingement syndrome so impingement syndrome is one of the most common causes of shoulder pain with which a patient presents to you in your orthopedic opd the problem with impingement syndrome and many other shoulder uh, pathologies is that the vagueness of their uh, pain or discomfort usually the pain is not at one site it's over a uh, or a range spread over a area these shoulder pains can be quite confusing with similar pathologies occurring in the uh, cervical spine the symptoms may be quite similar to pain here around the shoulder girdle behind the neck into the radiating into the arm neck pain is also very common in these patients with shoulder pain so there when too many overlapping clinical signs and symptoms so diagnosis can be quite non specific again treatment to these patients especially impingement syndrome we treat most of these a lot of these patients with uh, symptomatic treatment and sedes hot packs ice packs exercises we prescribe all these to our patients what sort of exercises one of the most common exercises we prescribe is shoulder movements shoulder shrugging rotation and shrugging all these uh, exercises we prescribe but do these exercises really help the patient if you ask the patient he says i don't know if you ask the doctor who prescribes them he says i don't know if i ask you do you really know the answer do these exercises help again the same answer we don't know we are not sure which exercises help or not so what which exercises help or not so coming to the question with which i started this lecture can you really just shrug off your shoulder pain or is shrugging a good exercise or a scientifically valid exercise for patients with shoulder pain so coming to the science of arm elevation the biomechanics of arm elevation we have talked about it in other lectures especially of impingement syndrome we'll talk about it again because we want to reiterate the science of biomechanics of shoulder or arm elevation so looking at the scapula so this is my left scapula so the three basic planes of movement in which the scapular movements occur would be that in the it can go like this which is like anterior tilt and posterior tilt okay so this is going anterior tilting and posterior tilting it can go upward rotation or downward rotation like this you can see this is upward uh, this is upward rotation this is downward rotation so the uh, acromion and clavicle is going laterally down this is downward rotation and up this is upward rotation and last is protraction or internal rotation and retraction and external rotation i'll again repeat this this is anterior tilt this is posterior tilt this is upward rotation this is downward rotation okay and this is protraction this is retraction or internal rotation and external rotation if you look at the clavicle movements this is my clavicle again left clavicle medial and lateral and if you look at the, the movements of this 
So this is elevation, lateral angle goes up, lateral part goes up, depression. Okay, this is posterior rotation, posterior rotation, anterior rotation. Okay, and protraction or and this is retraction. So again, three movements: left clavicle, elevation, depression, protraction, retraction. Posterior rotation, anterior rotation. Remember these. So, what happens when the no, in the normal arm elevation? Scapular movements which occur in the normal arm elevation are upward rotation. So, upward rotation. Then posterior tilt. If you look at this video again, so posterior tilt, and it's in the end external rotation. Initially, it is internal rotation in the end external rotation so again repeating the movements which occur in the normal arm elevation are upward rotation posterior tilt initially protraction or internal rotation in the end to complete my full overhead movements it's external rotation okay what happens to your normal clavicle movements when you do overhead elevation so there is posterior rotation posterior rotation retraction and some amount of elevation so these are the shoulder the clavicle movements and the scapular movements which occur when your arm goes overhead so the something described as scapular dyskinesis just reiterating on those we have talked about in different lectures scapular dyskinesis is defined as alteration in normal scapular rhythm or position so it's a altered or dysrhythmia or malposition scapular dyskinesis is associated with various problems biomechanical issues like it is associated with decreased subacromial space so if there's a decrease in subacromial space there will be impingement of rotator cuff leading to shoulder pain because of the impingement so decreased subacromial space causing increased in impingement symptoms and also there may be increased area of contact of humerus with posterior superior glenoid what we call as internal impingement so external impingement and internal impingement both may be increased in scapular dyskinesis patient